Hey guys, this is Alex and another vocal tip. And today I'm going to talk about um, uh, extreme effect, um, just growl, and uh, that's the common stuff. If you are R&B or a soul or a jazz singer, a lot of the times you need to incorporate some effects into your singing style. And um, just growl, that's the great stuff you can sing with. Um, and um, it's not so difficult, but you need to know the basic underneath line and how to create uh, this effect uh, in a healthy way. So first step is to understand that um, jazz growl is created by using our retinoid cartilages and uh, compared to grit, rasp or distortion uh, which is uh, created by uh, vestibular folds or false cord it's uh, another figure in your vocal tract and um, I will show you step by step incrementally how to create healthy position to create this great effect. Um, first step I will show you like uh, the final result uh, so just growl it sounds like um, if you have the clean tone for example ha ha once again you have the clean tone Ha! And then ha! 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 And um, let's talk about this like incrementally, right from the beginning, right till the end. So the first step is to create this kind of position in your vocal track. So if you have the clean tone like ha, and you have a uh, balanced neutral larynx like this, then you need to try something like that ha, ha, ha. that's the crucial part listen closely that's the uh, movement from ha, ha. so you are creating a um, really exotic position in your vocal track and uh, number one example is uh, remember there was a show called Mappet Show and there was a Kermit, a character and he was talking like this, um, so it's really, you know, uh, like weird and exotic uh, position in your throat. So once again, when you're starting from clean tone, you can talk like this and then you need to create this kind of position because that's the halfway uh, and, and like next step is to create this kind of sound and you have this just growl so once again that's like number two position number one position that's the clean tone balanced larynx hello what's up and then you are trying to do something like this without any effect without any arytenoid cartilages engagement just try to talk like this, but remember, when you are creating the position, be sure that you are taking the breath, you are supporting the sound, and you feel the flow. That's really important, you need to feel the flow. So once again, when you are starting, hello, what's up, and then you are going like this, and you're still breathing, and you feel the flow and support. Don't forget to um, place the sound into the palate. So don't try to place in the throat, like, uh, don't stop the flow. In other words, the flow should be placed in the palate. So when you're talking like, hello, 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 what's up? And uh, as for me, it feels like I'm trying to put the root of the tongue backward. And that's the common stuff when I'm working with the students. Sometimes they are muffling their tone by placing the root of the tongue backward and down like ha ah, and like ha ah, the tone is muffled but and in uh, these cases i always talking about put the tongue out of the mouth like ha ah, put the tongue ah, and that's the clean tone more open in this case we need to place the root of the tongue backwards so again ha so the tongue is out of the mouth and try to place tongue deeper ha so it feels like i am trying to swallow my tongue back and down a bit and that's like number two position the next step is to do the same but even more 
So ah, uh, ah, uh, and then I'm going like, ah, uh, and like, you can see, like, I'm breathing, still breathing and still supporting. So once again, number one, ha, uh, I'm talking like this. Number two, I'm trying to talk like this and it's free. And the next step, so I'm putting the root of the tongue even uh, more in the back and also I'm quacking. So ah, uh, two, ah, uh, like this. And third, ha, uh, and I'm trying to talk like this with this jazz, growl, like this. So th that's the basic line, like when you're trying to create the noise and find the noise. Next step is to pitch it because uh, if you can't control it by doing some exercises, uh, you can control the effect. Uh, so number one idea is with this effect you need to be as soon as you can more headier. You can go like ha. Ah! So basically with this kind of position, so that's the number two position, remember without any growl, but this exotic feel, an exotic position in your vocal track, and just slide up and down and feel like you have the bridging with it and connect. So I'm not starting like ah, ah. So don't try to push uh, chest higher. It should be felt like really uh, soon release. So ah, like ah, and already I'm in head. Ah, ah, then try to do this. When you have this connect, ha, this exact, so you can actually talk like this even here and even here, and you're not uh, breaking, you know, and flipping like this. So you are connected like this, wow. You can also imitate the husky sound from YouTube video, like Mishka Sela, when you're connected. Next step, take your chest voice, with this exotic position, and feel the growl there, like ha, ha. Then try to vocalize here in chest voice, ha. Basically, you can do this uh, in three ways. Like first um, position, clean, ha, without any effect. Second, exotic position, ha. Third, the same with growl, ha. Then. Take your head voice, ah, then put this exotic position into your head voice, like ah, then ah, when you're um, putting the root of the tongue uh, uh, backward and down, and then put the um, growl in the head voice, like ha, 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 like this. Then it's a really crucial part. Try to connect. Starting from the lower register and connect right to the head voice, like ha, ah, clean tone without any exotic position. Second step, create exotic position and connect ha, ah, like this. And next step, connect with the growl, like ha, ah, without any flips. And then, if you can do this, you can do different scales. For example, if you have a um, Ah, clean tone without any exotic position. Then exotic position. Ah, like this, like a Kermit sound. Then put the uh, growl effect to the sound. Ah, here you go. And then you can try to vocalize. For example, if you have the phrase like "Don't go away from me," you can sing like "Don't go away from me." Then put the exotic position. Don't go away from me and put the growl, like Don't go away from blah, like this. And that's the quick tip how to develop and how to find your jazz growl and incorporate this into your singing. That was Alex, God bless, see you next time, keep practicing, bye bye.